I think that good painting is like, and drawing, is like method acting. You have to think about exactly what you're doing, and if you don't, uh, it will be superficial. Uh, but I have to, I rule in the lines to give me a guide, but then I like to go in on them and say, rough them up, I guess is the right word, but make them soft. If this were a steel mast of a ship, it would be smooth, but an old piece of wood on a building that is maybe 50 years old has to look weathered, has to look, um, the shingles have to be mm, a little bent and a little crooked, a little this way and that. So you have to think about that while you're doing it. And if you don't use that kind of concentration, um, your painting will be superficial. It won't be real. Let me just say real. I guess that's a good word for it. And um, as I've told students before, when you do doors and windows, they're black, like this. <laughs> so this is the, the door to his shack. It's open slightly, so it's probably a, an early, early morning, and he's just got himself ready to maybe, maybe he's been out already in his boat, and he's back in and now opened the building up, and we'll take his pots full of lobsters over to the co-op, where he'll sell them at the rate of the day, and, you know, thinking about stuff like that, Puts your, puts your mind in the right place to create a, a good drawing or a good painting.